the dangerous confidence. I want to talk to the runner who is currently in week four or week five of their journey. If that is you, I know exactly how you feel right now. You feel invincible. The struggle of the first week is gone. You aren't gasping for air anymore. Your legs feel stronger. You used to struggle to run two kilometers, but yesterday you ran five kilometers and felt like you could keep going. You look at your watch and think, I've cracked the code. I'm a natural. Next week, I'll try 10,000. I need you to stop right there. I am here to burst your bubble and I am doing it to save you. This specific moment, the moment you feel invincible, is statistically the most dangerous moment in a runner's life. You are walking into a biological trap that catches 70% of beginners. You think you are fit, but you are only half fit. Inside your body, a civil war is brewing between your engine and your chassis, and if you increase your mileage next week based on how your engine feels, your chassis is going to snap. The promise. In this video, I'm going to explain the physiological gap. I will explain why your heart gets fit three times faster than your bones. We will use the Ferrari versus Fiat analogy to understand why you are at risk of a stress fracture right now. And by the end, I will give you the structural integrity rule, the specific protocol elite athletes use to let their bones catch up to their lungs so you don't end up in a boot for six months. Part one, the great deception, the red system. Why do you feel so good right now? It's because of your cardiovascular system. Let's call this the red system. Your heart, your lungs, and your blood. The red system is incredibly adaptable. It is soft tissue, rich in blood supply. When you start running, your body realizes it needs more oxygen. So within just 14 to 21 days, it makes massive upgrades. Your blood plasma volume increases your heart stroke volume increases. New capillaries sprout around your muscle fibers. This happens fast. It's like downloading a software update. Suddenly you can run without getting tired. You aren't out of breath. Your brain interprets this lack of breathlessness as we are ready for more. Your brain says, the engine is upgraded, let's race. But your brain is ignoring the other half of the equation. The half that doesn't get a software update, the half that has to be built brick by brick. Part two, the silent victim the white system. While your heart, red system is celebrating, your white system is screaming for help. The white system is your bones, tendons, ligaments, and fascia. Why do we call it white? Because if you look at a tendon or a ligament under a microscope, it is white. It is white because it has very poor blood supply. Think of it like this. Your muscles are like a rainforest. They are lush, full of water, and have rivers of blood flowing through them. They heal instantly. Your tendons are like a desert. They are dry. Resources, nutrients, take a long time to travel there. Because the blood flow is so low, the metabolic rate of the white system is extremely slow. Your heart adapts in weeks. Your bones and tendons adapt in months. Here is the math of the disaster. Every time your foot hits the ground, your bones absorb a shock equal to 2.5 times your body weight. If you weigh 80 kilos, that is 200 kilos of force slamming into your shin bone. Your bones can handle this. They are amazing structures, but they need time to remodel and get denser. Right now at week five, your bones are still soft. They haven't had time to calcify and harden, but because your heart feels great, you run longer and faster. Part three, the metaphor, Ferrari engine, Fiat chassis. Here is the visual I want you to burn into your mind. Imagine an old rusty Fiat 500 or a bicycle frame. That is your skeleton right now. It's functional, but it's not heavy duty. Now imagine we take a Ferrari 512 engine and we drop it into that Fiat. That Ferrari engine is your new aerobic fitness. It is powerful. It wants to go fast. You get in the car, you press the gas, the engine roars. It feels amazing. You hit 100 kilometers per hour, 150 kilometers per hour. The engine is fine. It's not overheating. But what happens to the car? The wheels start to wobble. The axles bend. The frame starts to crack from the vibration and the force. Eventually, the chassis snaps in half. This is exactly what is happening when you get shin splints, runner's knee, or a stress fracture. It's not bad luck. It is a powerful engine tearing apart a weak chassis. The mistake nobody warns you about is simply trusting your engine while ignoring your chassis. Part four, the ghost signs, how to know if you are in danger. So how do you know if your chassis is cracking? The problem with the white system is that it has poor nerve sensitivity compared to skin or muscle. It doesn't give you a sharp pain immediately. It whispers before it screams. You need to look for the ghost signs. Sign number one, the warm-up disappearance. This is the biggest trap. You wake up and your Achilles or your shin feels stiff or sore. A three out of 10 pain, you start running. After 10 minutes, the pain disappears. You feel fine. You think, oh, it was nothing. I just needed to warm up. Wrong. 
The pain disappeared because adrenaline and blood flow masked it. The damage is still happening. If pain goes away when you run but comes back worse the next morning, that is your bone screaming. Stop immediately. Sign number two, the point test. Press your finger along your shin bone. If the pain is spread out over a large area, like a bruise, it might just be muscle inflammation. But if you can find one specific spot the size of a coin that makes you jump when you press it, that is a stress fracture in the making. That is a crack in the chassis. Do not run on that leg. Part five, the solution, the structural integrity rule. If you are listening to this and panicking because you just increased your mileage, don't worry, we can fix this, but you have to be disciplined. You have to follow the structural integrity rule. Here is the rule. Your training volume is dictated by your skeleton, not your lungs. Even if you finish a 5K and feel like you could run another 5K, don't. You have to artificially hold yourself back. You have to put a governor on your Ferrari engine. The strategic patience protocol, the elite secret. Now, telling you to run less sounds boring, but this is actually the secret weapon of elite athletes. It's called strategic patience. If you are a beginner running less than six months, follow this logic. Every time you increase your distance, e.g. going from three kilometers to five kilometers, you must freeze at that new distance for three weeks. Week one, run five kilometers. Chassis is stressed. Week two, run five kilometers. Chassis is recovering. Week three, run five kilometers. Chassis is hardening yet shy calcifying. Week four, now you can go to six kilometers. Most people run five kilometers, then next week six kilometers, then seven kilometers. They never give the concrete time to dry. The freeze is not a punishment. It is the time where you actually become bulletproof. Part six, active construction, support work. While you are waiting for the chassis to harden during the freeze, you can help it. You can reinforce the frame. This means strength training. But I'm not talking about heavy deadlifts yet. I'm talking about isometric hold. Calf raises. Hold at the top for 30 seconds. Wall sits. Hold for 45 seconds. Why isometrics? Research shows that isometric loading, holding still under tension, is the best way to stimulate tendon stiffening without causing damage. It's like adding steel beams to your fiat frame. Do this twice a week. It takes 10 minutes. It saves you six months of rehab. Conclusion, the discipline of holding back. Running is a strange sport. In most sports, the hardest part is pushing yourself to go harder. In running, especially for beginners, the hardest part is holding yourself back. It takes more discipline to stop at five kilometers when you feel good than it does to run until you break. Don't be seduced by your new engine. Respect the Fiat chassis. Give it time to become a Ferrari. If you do this, you won't just be a runner for six weeks. You will be a runner for life. The Invitation. Now, I know the line between good soreness and bad injury is hard to find. If you want the specific schedules that force this safety discipline, you can find the structural integrity plans inside the membership area. But if you are already feeling those go signs, if your shins throb or your knees feel stiff, do not guess. Send me an email or a message with the word audit. I will personally look at your data to see if you are safe to proceed or if you need to pull the brake. Let's keep you running safe. Your running journey powered by science.